Hi everyone, my name is Todd Burlas, you're watching my YouTube channel, and today I will talk about John Logie Beard. John Logie Beard was born in 1888 to 1946. He was Scottish, he was an electrical engineer and television pioneer. The Scottish electrical engineer John Logie Beard invented the world's first working television. His broadcast system was the first that was capable of transmitting sound and pictures together. Television dominates almost every area of life today, but the initial idea of television, a small box showing endless free entertainment available within the home, was revolutionary. Baird was born in the town of Helensburgh, an elegant Georgian town on the first of cycle to the northwest of Glasgow. He completed his education at the Royal Technical College at, in that city, where he studied electrical engineering and after his graduation took up a post with the local Clyde Valley Electrical Company. Baird did not stay with the company for too long as he was plagued by ill health and he eventually gave up his position. He next had a brief career as a sales representative but then moved south into England. He settled in Hastings, a quiet seaside resort on the southeast coast in 1922. While living in Hastings, Baird began significant investigations into television and it was in 1923 that he first demonstrated a televised image. He applied for a patent on July 26, stating that he had devised a system of transmitting views, portraits and scenes by telegraphy or wireless telegraph, and it was granted the following year. Baird's work continued and in 1925 he produced his televisor, a working television constructed out of, among other things, biscuit tins, joining needles and small tea chests. The next year he made the first public demonstration of television to the Royal Institute in London. He also patented the funnel visor, the earliest video recorder which recorded images on a wax record tape disc. Baird also took time to patent a type of radio detection, a forerunner of radar that consisted of a method of viewing an object by projecting upon its electromagnet waves of short wavelengths. Although the BBC adopted Baird's television system in 1929 and the new improved version that gave a much clearer picture in 1936, Baird ha had a rival. The Russia-born electrical engineer Vladimir Zworkin, who had immigrated to the United States in 1919, filed a patent in 1923 for what he called an iconoscope, which was a cathode ray television transmitter. The following year, he filed for a kinescope, a cathode ray television receiver. Both were essential elements of a television system. Baird initially held the advantage and his device was basically a simple mechanical system, while the working electronic devices were held back by the slow pace of development in electronics. But Baird's equipment was slow and heavy, whereas working seemed easier to handle, and the BBC eventually adopted the working system. It was further developed by the company Marconi EMI in 1936. Baird continued to make important contributions in the fields of electrical and mechanical engineering. He demonstrated the first electronic colour television in 1944, two years before his death in 1946. If you like my videos, please subscribe and share with others. Thanks for watching. Bye.